Our lives are insanely busy while trying to balance work, house chores, family, and other things. Due to this reason, we often forget essential things. Like birthdays of our loving ones, special meeting at your office which you were supposed to present, or a meeting with a business partner to discuss your next business idea. If you are also familiar with these situations, I am sure you will love this video. Since we forget things easily, scheduling apps and tools do a great job to make sure we use our time productively without missing important things. A perfect example of this is Google Calendar. In this video, we will talk every basic thing about Google Calendar to make sure you get the maximum results from it. Google Calendar is a scheduling application launched by Google, and it is a free scheduling tool. Now shall we see how you can get started with Google Calendar. If you already have a Google account, you will automatically get access to Google Calendar. But if you don't have an account, don't worry, refer our video on how to create a Google account. Link is on the description. You can just search for Google Calendar on search bar, or you can access it through Google product apps. When you access, you will get a screen like this where you can do any change you want. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a new calendar. On Google Calendar, you can create multiple calendars. Scroll down a little bit and you can see other calendars option. In front of that there is a plus icon and click it. Then you can see a list appear and select, create a new calendar from that. Then a box will appear to enter a name and description for your new calendar. Enter a specific name so that you will not mix up calendars. I'm going to enter as Diggy Fix Meetings and the description will be Daily Team Catch Up. You can enter a specific description to inform others about your calendar. Then select the time zone. There is a list of time zones and select what relevant to you from the list. And finally click Create Calendar to complete the process. Now you have created a new calendar. If you want to find it, it is displayed under My Calendars option. Just like that create any calendar you need. The benefit is you can create different calendars for different purposes. Sometimes, you will need to share the calendars you created with others. Shall we see how you can share any calendar with others? For that, click the three dot in front of the calendar you want to share and select Setting and Sharing option. Then you will bring to a box and here also if you need, you can edit calendar details. Now it's the time to select Access Permissions. If you click Make Available to Public, your calendar will be seen by anyone. I am pretty sure that you don't want that to happen. So, the best option is to share with specific people. For example, you can share calendar with your team members. To do this, you can enter the Gmail of the person you want to add. Now let's see different types of access permissions when you share a calendar. When you share your calendars with others, you can select access permission. It will decide what they can do on your calendars. After adding the email address of the person you want to share, it will show four types of access permissions like this. If you select See Only option, people can see when you are busy or free. But here, they can't see event details. This option is better if you don't want others to change your event. If you select See All Event Details option, people can see all event details unless they are marked as private. They can find time zone settings and subscribe for email alerts about events. If you select Make Changes to Events option, people can see all event details, including those marked as private, add events, edit or delete events, find time zone settings, and subscribe for email alerts of the events you create. If you select Make Changes and Manage Sharing option, people can see all event details, add events, edit events, or delete events. They even can delete an event permanently. Make sure you select the right access permission when you share your calendars with other. Otherwise, anyone will be able to make changes and ruin the details. So, select the best option among see only, see all events, make changes to events and make changes and manage sharing. So, that is about another cool feature you will get from Google Calendar. If you create a calendar for your business purposes, this will be a great collaborative tool. Then I am going to show you another cool feature. On Google Calendar, you can create events. Shall we see the process? There are two ways to create events on Google Calendar. First way is directly creating an event with a date cell. First, open your Google Calendar. 
As you see, there are date cells that shows the dates and times as well. Select the date cell that you want to do your event. This event can be a meeting, session, seminar, or anything. As you can see, there are dates and times clearly showing. You can try the process along with me. Click the date cell you want. Then a box will appear with event information. In there, there are three options such as create events, tasks, or reminders. Since we are going to create an event now, make sure to select event. Now you can add a title for your event. I'm going to add Google Calendar Video Session as my title. Make sure to add a title that you can remember and relevant. And next, you can enter the specific date and time of your event type. Click the date and time bar and you can edit whatever you want. And you can add guests to the event. Add a description to your event. And add a location of your event. Finally, click Save to create your event. Now you can see the event you created on your calendar. That is one method you can create an event on Google Calendar. I mentioned you previously that we can do this in two methods. Another method to create an event is by using the Create button on the upper left-hand side. Click the Create button and you will see an option to create an event. Click it. And like we did before, you can add event title, description, and everything. In Google Calendar, you can attach documents and materials that are relevant to a meeting. This feature makes sure the meeting attendees have the necessary materials before the meeting begins. First, click the event on your calendar. Then a box will aper with the event details. You can see a pencil icon in this box and click it. Then another big box appear with event details. Below, you can see a paper click icon. Click it, and a window will appear to upload files from your Google Drive. Here you can select the necessary files and click Insert. And we came to the destination of our journey on Guide to Google Calendar. I hope you enjoyed reading this simple guide to Google Calendar and learn new things. Google Calendar is a great and user-friendly tool that helps you stay organized and plan your time productively. Since there are many customization features, you can convert according to your preferences. We have covered the most basic things, including how to get started with Google Calendar, create new calendars, add events, share calendars, and more. We hope you will give this tool a try and make the most out of your valuable time. Comment below how you use Google Calendar to spend your time productively. We would love to hear your stories. Thanks for watching.